In this video, I'm going to share 11 Canva tips and tricks that you probably don't know yet. Today, I'm going to share three new apps and hidden tools that are going to help you come up with more creative designs and animations and will save you lots of time. Make sure you stay until the end so you don't miss any of them. And if you are ready for this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Tip number one, the Speed Paint app. With this app, you can create this kind of animations completely free. This is pretty awesome because before this app existed, we had to spend a lot of time trying to create these animations or some other people paid for expensive softwares to be able to recreate this kind of animations. So let me show you how to find it inside Canva and how it works. Go to canva.com and open the apps tab and from here search for speed paint i'm going to select the first option that we see here and this is the app that is going to help us convert any image into a speed drawing video click here this is going to open this little window that is going to give you access to the app in an existing design or use in a new design i'm going to use a new design and then i'm going to use instagram post this is going to open the editor and it's going to open the app at the same time. As you can see, I didn't have to create any new account on the Speed Paint app and I'm able to use the app instantly. And also, this app is available for free. I'm using a Canva free account at the moment. And as you can see, I'm able to access the app and I will be able to create an animation. Okay, from here, what you are going to do is to upload an image, the image that you want to animate into a speed painting video. So you can click on this video to choose your file for this animation i'm going to use our logo so this is the png that i'm going to use here i'm going to click open we can see an image previewing here and then we can select the overall smoothness of our animation it can be either 30 frames per second 60 or 120. you also have different options of duration so you can open this drop down and you can create an animation from 1 to 20 seconds I think I'm gonna go for five seconds. You can also select the color fill duration, so you can select no color fill, or you can go from three seconds to 15. I'm gonna choose the first option so you can understand what this means. So zero seconds. You can select a background color from here. You can add a sketching hand effect or a fade out effect. I'm gonna go for the hand effect. I really like this animation style where we see the hand painting. So I really want this one. I'm selecting this box and then we just need to click animate image. The app took two minutes to be able to generate this animation. So let's take a look. To me, this animation looks pretty, pretty cute. And I can see us using this animation on our content. So let me know what do you think about this app. Also, I'm going to leave this option right here, this video or this animation that we just created. Remember that this one doesn't have any color because we selected no color fill. But this time, let's go for three seconds and I'm going to generate image again. But this time, I'm also going to deselect the sketching hand so we won't see the hand painting and I'm going to add a fade out effect. I'm going to click animate image and I'll see you once the animation is ready. We have the second animation ready. Remember that in this one we won't see the hand effect and also we will see a fade out effect. We also inserted the color fill options so let's see how different it is from the first one. I really like this option as well. The only thing that got me thinking is that the background is black and I have selected white. But overall, the animation looks amazing and I really like that after a couple of seconds, we start seeing the colors 
on the logo and we end up having the logo exactly as the one that we uploaded to the app. I really like both of these animations but I tend to like better the first one, the one with the sketching hand effect. Let me know in the comments which one you like best, the one with the hand or the one without. Let's continue with tip number two. This is a hidden tool that is going to help you get the style from the designs that you have recently used. This is pretty useful if you want to save time and also if you have used a template not so long ago but you cannot find it back in Canva and you forgot the name of the font and also you don't know what's the exact color palette that this design had. So let me show you. In the editor go to the left panel and open design. In here make sure that you are under the styles tab, scroll down until you see this section that says recent designs. You're gonna find your recent designs here and if you want to see them all click here. I would like to create a new design using this style from this template that I recently used. So I just simply need to click use style and Canva will automatically add the text boxes with the fonts used on on this design. If you click shuffle you will see that the colors will change and sometimes you will even have some elements appearing on the screen. So let's give this other template a go. So I'm gonna click use style. This time we have the text boxes and we have another element that we can use on our design. Let's give another template a go so you can see a completely different styling here. So I'm going for this one. Look at this, we have now three different elements on this design and what about this other style? We have some little cuts in here, so I wouldn't be surprised if we had some cut elements on my design. So let's use this other style and as you can see we now have a little cut on the design. And before we move on to the next tip I want to show you something cool about this hidden tool. You can create a design from a blank canvas the way I just showed you but you can also use an existing design and then apply that style to that design. Let's say that I'm going to start working from this design right here. I'm going to design styles and then recent designs. I'm going to click see all and from here I'm going to use one of these styles. I'm gonna use the one with the cut to see what happens on this design. So use style and as you can see we have a completely different style on this design. Let's try another style so I'm gonna click on this one right here and now we have something completely different. If you're still not part of the Rondeship make sure to click the join button right below so you can learn more about our engaging learning experience, exclusive access and personalized support. If you don't see the join button there is a link in the description so you can learn more. And now let's continue with tip number three. Tip number three. We have now two different apps to generate blobs in Canva and both of these apps are completely free to use. Let's take this design as an example. I want to add three different blobs to this page and when I go to elements and I type blob hit enter i'm going to graphics and as you can see a lot of the blob options that we have in here are available only for canva pro users and the other blobs may be too complex for my liking so i'm gonna close the elements tab and i'm gonna use these two blob generators inside canva let's go again to the left panel and open apps from here we're gonna search for blob and these are are the two different apps that we can use to generate blobs. Let's go for the first one, blobs, and from here we can preview the blobs that are being generated by the app and if you like any of these blobs simply add to design. So let's say that I didn't like this blob and I want to generate another one. I'm gonna click generate and if I like the next blob I'm gonna add to design. I'm gonna place my blob on my design and after a couple of seconds you will see that the color option gets activated so I can actually change the color and use one that I like. Let's go back to blobs and generate another blob. Add to design. 
and let's add one more. Let's say that these blobs are too simple for me. So I'm gonna go to apps and this time I'm gonna use Ken Blob. You see that this app has actually two options more. You can change the color of the blob and preview it from here. So you can insert a hex code, you can use any of the recommended colors or create your own color from here. You also have the option to increase or decrease the blob complexity this is fantastic if you have a precise idea of the blob that you need on your design. So as you can see the blobs that we have right now on the design are very very simple so I want to add some complexity to them and then I'm gonna add to design once I see something that I like. If you don't like the shape that you see at the moment here on this preview window you can click generate again until you see a shape that you like. Then add to design and this will work the same way as the other app. You will see your blob in here and you can change the color of the blob as well. Let me delete these other two blobs and I'm gonna work again with Ken Blob to add two more blobs to my design. What do you think about these two blob apps? I actually see myself using them more than the actual elements in Canva because I'm able to customize these templates and generate something that actually balances out my design. Let me know what do you think about these two apps in the comments. Tip number four is a hidden tool that is going to save you a lot of time. In Canva, before we had to position every single letter to be able to recreate this curved text effect, but with this tool, which is free, you'll be able to create this effect with just a couple of clicks. Let me show you how to do it with this design. I want to curve this text box, so you will select your text box and then go to the toolbar on top and select effects. In this window you will see that there is a section called shape and you have the option curve. When you click here your text will automatically curve so pay attention to this text box. I'm gonna click and voila you automatically have this effect applied on your text box and if you want to adjust the curve on your text you simply need to play around with this slider and if you want to curve your text the other way you can move your slider to the left crossing this middle section right here and as you can see my text is curved upwards. Let's leave this text like this and that's it. Simply position your text box where you want and your design is ready. The following five tips are going to save you a lot of time and the last two are related to animations. So let's continue with tip number five. I'm going to show you how you can search for elements and then filter them by color. Let's say that I want to replace this little heart right here with a flower. So I'm going to the elements tab and I'm going to search flower. I'm going to then go to graphics and as you can see we have a lot of flowers and indeed we we see a lot of pink flowers but we also see purple, yellow, green and I want to focus only on flowers that are pink. Go to the toolbar and you will see this settings icon. Click here and this time you are going to search by color. You can select any of these recommended colors so let's say I'm gonna select this pink right here and then I'm going to close this window by pressing again on this icon. As you can see we now have a lot of flowers that are actually pink and indeed these flowers are all pink but this is not the pink that I need. I'm gonna take the color from this heart so I'm going to select this element, click on the color icon and then I'm going to select the add a new color. This is going to give me access to the hex code of the color 
color of this heart so i'm going to copy this hex code and then going back to elements i'm going to type again flower hit enter go to graphics click again on the settings icon and this time add a new color i'm gonna paste here my hex code and then apply i'm gonna close the window by clicking on the settings icon and as you can see all of the flowers that we're seeing here fit the aesthetic or fit the color from the heart that we have on the design so let's say that i want to change this heart with this flower i'm gonna put it here and remove the heart that is behind. If I want it, I could change the color, the pink color on this flower with the pink from our heart. So I'm going again to add a new color and I'm gonna paste my hex code one more time in here and that's it this is going to save you a lot of time when you are trying to search for the right element in Canva. Tip number six is also related to searches and this is going to help you find the element that fits your design perfectly. Let me show you. I am working on this design and I only have this little space to add a flower element, but I don't have time and I don't want to scroll down through all the flower results until I find something that fits my design. So let's type flower hit enter let's go to graphics and as you can see we have a mix of so many different flowers but to find a vertical oriented element i can go to the filter the same icon that i just showed you on the last tip and this time we are going to use the section orientation from here you can select elements with a square format vertical or horizontal i'm gonna go for vertical and as you can see we have only flowers results with a vertical orientation this is really going to save us a lot of time when selecting elements you can see right here i already found an element that i believe fits this design and as simple as that i have my design ready Tip number seven is going to help you filter your search results by static or animated elements. Let's say that I want to add some animated elements to this design. I'm going to try to search for star hit enter i'm going to graphics as you can see in my search results i only see a few elements that are actually animated but i only want to see animated ones because i want to add movement to my design i'm going to filter and this time let's focus on the animation section from here you can either select only static elements or only animated ones i'm going for animated let's close the window and as you can see the search result is full with movement i only see animated elements which is fantastic and it's going to help me save a lot of time because i have exactly what i need in here i already found an element that i can use on my design so i'm going to add this one right here i'm going to crop some of the stars so there is only one remaining hit done and then i'm going to replace the static stars that i had on my design for these animated ones let's try to find one or two elements more to add more movement to this design so let's try the keyword flower we already have the filter applied so this time we only see animated elements i think i could replace this element here with this flower or maybe this one here so i'm going to delete the static element and change the color to this one and i want to mention something important in here because these animated elements that we see under the elements tab in canva the majority of them you won't be able to change the color so that's why i had to leave these yellow stars with the color as they come from i couldn't change them to the green from the design but this element right here i was able to change the color to and at the end of the video i'm gonna show you a simple solution so you can search and find only animated elements that you can customize to apply the colors that you want. 
Tip number eight is the last tip related to search results and with this one you can find elements that are cut out or elements with a transparent background. This is going to save you a lot of time because you will remove the extra step of having to remove the background from the images you want to use on your designs. I would like to add a cutout of a lady in here on this corner. So I'm going to elements and search for woman hit enter and then going to filters I'm going to select cutouts only you see this eye icon this one says that cutouts are images with a transparent background so let me close now this window so you can see the results that we have in here and these are only cutout images that you can automatically use on your design so let me click on this one and as you can see if I were to bring this photo to front this image has a transparent background and I can position it in my design so we can have a 3d effect on the graphic I really like these elements and this filter but to be honest if you are using a free account you might have trouble finding free options because the majority will be only available for Canva Pro accounts so if you want to try these elements that you see right here with the little crown or if you want to try try any of the Canva Pro features, you can use our Canva Pro free trial during 45 days. The link is in the description. And I want you to pay attention to these cutouts because the creators that uploaded these elements to Canva have done a very professional work at removing the background. So this really helps our designs look very professional you will never see a weird outline the outline will always look clean and crisp i love tip number nine because i use it all the time and this really helps me find unique elements in the canva library let's say that you found this amazing template on canva and you would like to create another design using elements with the same aesthetic let's say that i want to duplicate this element and i want to use something else in the background but i want to continue using the same aesthetic i'm gonna leave one of these elements on the design and then by having the element selected i'm going to the toolbar and find the info icon you're gonna click here and then you will see this option that says view collection click here and this is going to open the entire collection of elements that this element is part of so you can take any of these elements and replace it on your design if you want or create a new design with a different shape or different element. Tip number 10 is one of my favorites of today. It is one of the newest motion effects in Canva and it is called Rotate. With it, you can create this kind of rotate animations. So let me show you how to use it. Here I have this beautiful template. I really like it. The design is really great, but I want to add some motion so we can attract more of our audience attention. We want to promote our product, so anything that moves I think can help us attract more eyes to our posts. What we're going to do is that we are going to apply this rotate motion to this text box right here, the one that says Black Friday all around this image. Make sure that you have the text box selected and then select animate on the toolbar on top. This is going to open the animations panel on the left part of the screen and if you scroll down you will see this section that's says add motion effects. In here you'll find the rotate option. When you click here you will automatically add this animation to your design. And remember that this animation is free to use. All the tips that I'm giving you on this video are free. The only thing that will be for Canva Pro users is the speed. So if you want to adjust the speed of this animation, you want it to be slower or faster, you will need a Canva Pro account. If you don't need to change the speed, you can use it for free. Another tip 
tip or extra tip that I want to give you here is that you can adjust the length of this animation. By default, it will be set to five seconds, but if you want your animation to last for longer, so let's say 15 seconds, you can click here and then adjust it with this slider. To download this animation, you can click share, download, and then you can either select MP4 video or open the drop down scroll down and select GIF. I'll go for MP4 video and then download. Tip number 11 is Lotifiles app. With this app, you can access over 100,000 free animated elements that you can customize in Canva. Let's go to the editor and from here, let's go to apps so we can search for Lotifiles. At the moment, you will see that Lotifiles is featured. So you will see a huge banner dedicated only to this app right now. But if you don't see it, if you open the apps tab and there is another app featured that day, you can search for Lotifiles. So type Loti files, hit enter, and this is the app that I'm talking about. To use it, you just need to create a free account, which is super easy to create. I already have mine. And let's use the app to find some elements that we can use in here. I'm going to search for flower to see if I find something to replace either this icon right here or this one. And I already see one that I can use to replace this one. So I'm going to click on this element and I can either change the color from here or directly from Canva. I'm going to see if I can change it to purple already and then add to design. I already have my animated element on my design. This is a little bit too thin for my design. So let me remove the other element and position this one in here. I can go back and try to see if I find another element because this one is not working quite well in here. What about this one? It is not exactly the same as the one we had before, but I think this one will work with this aesthetic. So let me see if I can play around with the colors from here. I'm gonna leave it like this, add to design because I can change the colors of the animation from Canva anyways. I have my animated element in here. Let me close this window for a second so I can position my element in here. Let's delete the previous one and pay attention because you can actually change the colors to the animated elements coming from Lotifiles. So if I click on on this flower, you will see on the toolbar that I have access to the colors from this animation. So if I were to change these colors, I simply need to click here and start changing the colors to the ones that I like. I'm going to duplicate this flower, position it in here so I can delete this other static element. And I think this design looks pretty cute as it is. So I'm going to stop right here. To learn more about the Lotifiles app, you can watch this video right here. And if you want to discover more Canva tips and tricks, you need to watch this playlist here. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!